a very good evening uh, to your brother uh, uh, Bishnu and brother Peter. <clears throat> by God's grace, I think uh, by now you would have definitely understood uh, the entire thing of the second coming. And last time we studied about the dates of the second coming also. <clears throat> I hope uh, but the Rashi is completely revised about uh, uh, the 6,000 years. How the 6,000 years end in uh, 1874. And how in, since uh, 1874, a lot's uh, second presence has begun. <clears throat> so, so last time when we took the class, we told that uh, you see there are other proofs of uh, the dates uh, apart from Daniel 12 chapter, apart from uh, Leviticus uh, 26 chapter, and uh, apart from the Daniel 2 prophecy. So all these things uh, we have seen uh, in the last few weeks. Uh, but uh, uh, did our Lord mention any of these things? Uh, uh, did our Lord mention anywhere about the second coming that he will be coming at this time? Yes, sir. when our Lord was in this earth, he mentioned when he will actually return back the second coming. Where is it given? You see, <clears throat> that is given in the Gospels. So we will be studying those things okay, today. But before going to the stuff, we should remember one thing that, uh, you see, in a week, there are seven days. So there are uh, seven days uh, in a week uh, and the last day of the week uh, is always called as, uh, you see, weekend uh, or the last day. You see, uh, we, we also use now weekend. Weekend means what? Uh, Saturday and Sunday. So similarly in the Bible, you see, uh, there are so many terms that are used as last day. Now, which is this last day? You see, so, the last day is actually the thousand year reign of Christ. How, you see, see, uh, the six thousand years of sin uh, can be divided into thousand years, uh, six parts. You see, and the seventh day, that is the thousand year reign of Christ, it can be, you see, compared to one thousand years, one day. You see, and that is the last day. You see, so it is in this last day that uh, Christ a thousand years rule will begin, that the resurrection of the church will happen, the resurrection of the world will also happen and the judgment of the entire mankind will happen. So, let us study uh, John 6.44. John 6.44. Anybody can read? I will read. Uh, Brother Vishnu left because he has some meeting regarding the church as Christmas is nearing. Anyway, we'll continue. Zone 644, right, brother? Ah. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. You see, so raise him at the last day. Which is his last day? This last day is the last thousand years uh, in this. Uh, 7,000 creative day. Okay? In that is the thousand year reign of Christ. So it is in this thousand year reign of Christ, the resurrection of the church should happen. Okay, what of the resurrection of the world? Read John 11, 24. John 11, chapter 24th verse. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Yes, in the last day. That is again the thousand year reign of Christ. It is not that the last day of the, you see, the earth. It is the last day, you see, of the seventh creative day. That is the thousand year reign of Christ. Then, John 12, 48. John 12, 48. If he that rejected me and received not my words, hath one that judge him, the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Very good. The same shall judge him at the last day. So, all the last day references in the Bible is actually mentioning about the thousand reign of Christ. So, 
by this uh, you see background we can clearly understand that the seventh day uh, which we are living is actually divided into seven parts 6000 and 1000 years part so 6 plus 1 7000 okay now <clears throat> this uh, 7000 years as i told you 6000 plus 1000 years it can be easily divided okay now let us read john 219 John two nineteen. John two nineteen. Jesus answered and said unto them, "Destroy this temple, and in three days I'll raise it up." Very good. So Jesus said, "Destroy this temple, and I will raise it in three days." Now, what was actually Jesus speaking? Jesus was not speaking about the literal destruction of the literal temple. But he was speaking about the church of his body. Continue, brother. Next verse, you can continue, Ashish, brother. Uh, then said the Jews, "What in six years was this temple in building, and will they rear it up in three days?" Continue. Okay. But he spoke of the temple of his body. Very good. So he spoke. And therefore, he was. very good he spoke of the temple of his body that is the church he was speaking actually the resurrection of the church <clears throat> see when christ came <clears throat> he came after 4000 years <clears throat> so in the 5000 year he came you see so since uh, jesus christ first advent you see the first day has happened 1000 years has happened and since his first advent uh, 2000 years has happened so two days are gone because for our lord jesus christ one day means 1000 uh, years so two days uh, what did jesus say you see you destroy this temple in three days i shall build it up. so two days the church is being persecuted and the third day that is the 1000 year reign of christ in that third day the resurrection of the church shall happen that is what we can see since 1878 the church is been resurrected okay so this is one of the clue where jesus told about the second coming let us read one more verse luke 13 32 brother And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Very good. So I shall do cures today and tomorrow. Third day I shall be perfected. Now it is speaking of the same thing, brother. You see, ah, huh? two days since Christ first advent to the second advent, it is two days. For Jesus Christ, one day means thousand years. So since first advent till second advent is two thousand years approximately. So two days. In third day, what will happen now? You see, he shall cast out the devil and become perfect. Okay, read one more verse in Hosea six chapter verses one to three. Okay. Come and let us reason unto the Lord, for He hath torn and He will heal us. He hath smitten and He will bind us up. After two days will He revive us. In the third day He will raise us up, and we shall live in His sight. Very good, brother. So here again, it is speaking about the nation of Israel. How the nation of Israel was smitten by God? They were torn. They were peeled, but. Uh, let us return to the lord you see ha huh? he shall heal us after two days that is in the third day you see that is since the first advent israel has been persecuted till the second advent of christ as soon as second advent of christ happens the nation of israel was gathered and blessed earth. that is in the thousand years we have studied about this one you see about israel 
in a, the basic class, you see, so how Israel was completely destroyed, now Israel is regathered into the same land, into the same faith. So this is again one more prophecy where we clearly see it is speaking about the Lord's second advent. One more prophecy when Jesus tells, it is given in Luke 12 chapter. Luke 12 chapter. Uh, verse 37 and 38. Uh, 37 and 38. Mm -hmm. Blessed Blessed are the servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall guard himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Ah, and if he shall come in. Here yeah. it says, the master returning and the servant waiting for that master. We know very well, you see, this master is none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. And who is the servant? You see. That uh, servants are the church who are waiting for the master's second coming. So when will the master return? You see, the church doesn't know when the master will return. Exactly the church doesn't know. But when the master went, he gave them an approximate time as to when he will return. Read next works, brother. It is given there. Huh? And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. Ah, you see, what did the master say? He might come in the second watch or in the third watch. And if he finds the servants watching, he should be blessed. Now, what is this watch? Watch in the Bible. What is the meaning of watch in the Bible? Watch in the Bible means a thousand years. Where is it given? Read. Psalms 90, 90, verse 4. Ninetieth Psalm, verse 4. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. You see, as a watch in the night. So, dear brethren, a thousand years is as a watch in the night. So it clearly proves that, uh, you see, so Jesus uh, clearly told, I might return at the second watch or the third watch. So he returned exactly at the transition of the second watch to the third watch when a 6,000 years ended and a thousand years uh, began. So this clearly proves, uh, you see, that uh, Jesus approximately told about his second coming, you see, in uh, Luke 12 chapter, uh, you see, therefore, dear brethren, this uh, clearly proves, uh, you see, that uh, when uh, our Lord uh, returned. So, it's very clear in the Bible that Jesus returned in 1874. So, this uh, ends the study about the Lord's second coming, about uh, chronology, about the time prophecy. Okay. So, Peter brother, if you have any doubts, any questions, Regarding second coming, you can ask. Any doubts? Any questions? Or else if you have any doubts, any questions regarding any of the subject, you can ask. Uh, Peter Kaysa? Okay, no, okay. Okay, but are Please. you able to understand? Uh, Ashish, brother, are you interacting with brother Peter in Nepali? Questions? Yes, 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 brother. They are. I requested them to read uh, the P 